Good morning and welcome to the story of liberty.net. This is your host, John Bona. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Many see this event as the most important victory for liberty in the 20th century. Allow me to share a short story about a pastor who lived in East Germany during this time, Pastor Christian Fuhrer. He started a prayer meeting with a handful of people in 1982, seven years before the Berlin Wall came down. For almost 40 years, the Soviet Union ruled East Germany with an iron fist. Death or imprisonment awaited anyone who dared cross that wall between East and West Germany. But every Monday within this environment, at 5 p.m., Pastor Fuhrer would pray for peace, and he would light 40 candles representing the 40 years the Jews were in the wilderness. Over a period of seven years, the prayer meeting grew, but government spies infiltrated, and they tried to intimidate Pastor Fuhrer, once leaving him 20 miles out in the snow to die. After seven years of prayer, at the prayer meeting on October 9th, 1989, Pastor Fuhrer handed out 2,000 candles to each person at the prayer meeting. About the same size as this prayer breakfast here this morning in Vero Beach. He told each person to light a candle as they left the meeting and go out into the streets and meet the other East Germans. They walked peacefully together to the city center where the Russian tanks and German soldiers were stationed. Facing danger and even death, the faithful approached the soldiers and the Russian tanks. The Russian tanks were lined up behind the soldiers who pointed their machine guns at the ever-growing crowd. When they reached the city center, they offered the soldiers lighted candles. Amazingly, one by one, the soldiers began to put down their weapons and hold the lighted candles. Soon, all the soldiers had lowered their weapons and joined with the faithful. The Russian tanks backed up and returned to their barracks. Pastor Fuhrer said that the East German officials would later say that they were ready for anything except candles and prayer. One month later, Premier Gorbachev began tearing down that Berlin Wall, and to this day, the German people remember that it was a pastor who started a prayer meeting that ultimately caused the fall of the Berlin Wall in Germany's freedom. Pastor Fuhrer said, without the church, it would have been like all other revolutions before it, bloody and unsuccessful. But we did it because the church has to do it. Now, 25 years after the miracle in East Germany, Pastor Fuhrer sends a warning to the church of being lethargic. He said, today the feeling of belonging together has largely given away to shallow, materialistic prosperity. Faith in the future and in the power and the possibilities that God can bestow on us has disappeared. The church must be open to all and must champion the disadvantaged. That is why we need the vision of Jesus so that faith and hope can sweep through the masses again like a fresh wind. In light of this history, cannot believing Americans pray 
and courageously act to restore our liberty under God. May God help us to do just that for His glory and for our children's children.